So I was having some problems um, trying to um, uh, setting up the um, Google Calendar integration with Home Assistant. And actually, uh, not just Calendar, but uh, other Google services as well. So I'm making this video to show you how it can be done. So I'm heading to uh, settings, devices and services, and I'm going to add the integration. So I'm searching for calendar, clicking into Google, Google Calendar, here we are. So it asks us for the credentials. Uh, as a name, we can put whatever we want. Okay, so Home Assistant Google Integration, as an example. And we need to create the uh, client ID and client secret. We can go to the credentials here. We can make a, a new credential. Here um, is my Google Cloud is in Italian, but okay, it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, we go to uh, create credentials. We need to create an OAuth client ID. As application type, we need to select web application. As a name, again, we can name it uh, whatever we want, just it's better to have something that uh, reminds us of the purpose of this uh, um, client ID. So, uh, here we are. Then the important thing is to add uh, uh, some um, uh, redirect uh, URIs. Actually one, we need just one. And this was a tricky part for me because um, the application, when uh, you're gonna set up uh, the integration in Home Assistant, and uh, Google, uh, after the authorization, uh, is gonna send you back to uh, the um, URL that Home Assistant is providing, and it has to be authorized. Uh, but um, it didn't work if I put my public um, URL, my home assistant public URL, and uh, neither the, the local uh, one. Uh, this could be also a problem of my setup because once I um, added the um, SSL, uh, so the HTTPS uh, protocol uh, for uh, uh, being able to have an issue a certificate and uh, being able to um, connect to my home system from uh, from the internet, then I kind of uh, lost the local uh, connection, the local um, server. So I need to probably uh, fix that. But okay, uh, either uh, URL, the public one and the local uh, one didn't work. And uh, I found that in some um, forums around, they suggest to put uh, this URL. Actually, you don't have to change this with your, uh, your URL. You have to keep it like this, okay? If you go to my.homesystem.io, uh, we see what the, the URL of our uh, Home Assistant instance, um, and we can uh, uh, change it, okay? So for making it work for me, I had to uh, change the uh, the Home Assistant URL with my public URL. So uh, Google will redirect you to my Home Assistant.io slash OAuth slash, uh, sorry, slash redirect slash OAuth. And uh, this page is gonna redirect you to the right Home Assistant uh, installation. And with this one, uh, it will it will work. So this was the, the, the big thing that I couldn't figure out uh, before. So we can create it. Okay, we have our client ID, we need to copy that. And we also need to copy our client secret. Uh, be careful, you can copy it just only, only now. Uh, when you're gonna press OK, the client secret is not available anymore. Uh, if you want to uh, to recover it, you have to make another a new uh, client uh, OAuth client and uh, making the process uh, from uh, scratch. So I suggest you to download the JSON. So it's gonna uh, contains uh, all the all this information. Uh, okay, I have a 
clipboard uh, manager so i can copy both of them all right and here we are so okay so this is the the one that i just uh, create i can copy the client id but not the secret as i already said and we can just go here and pass and we can edit one important thing for the integration to work you have to enable the uh, calendar api if you are setting up calendar so you need to go to um, uh, api and uh, services it should be like that in english you up here you have the uh, button for enable some apis you can just search for calendar and you need to enable the google calendar api so you go inside and here now I have this button that says like manage the uh, API, but if it was not enabled, uh, you will see, um, if it was not enabled, you will see um, the button for enabling it. So here we are. Okay, we can press add. Okay, and now it's gonna send us to uh, the uh, kind of the, the, the login page. We select our account, Google account. Okay, and this is normal. In English, um, this basically say that uh, this app is not verified by Google, and, uh, and you shouldn't use it uh, uh, because the developer, that is ourselves, uh, didn't uh, haven't he hasn't verified with Google. But uh, okay. We can go to advanced and we can go to um, open home assistant you say again it's not safe but okay this app is managed by us so it's fine here again we have some uh, some um, warnings uh, and uh, here you say that the home assistant already has some authorization because i already authorized it before okay and we can go to continue Okay, link uh, to Google Home Assistant. This is our redirect URL that we set up before. Okay, like so, and we're going back. Okay, so we say that is everything is fine, and now we have our Google Calendar integration. You can do the same thing with other uh, Google um, services. Uh, again, some of them are not doesn't work like don't work like that. Like Google Maps Travel Time, I think it needs an API on their own. Uh, but uh, Google Tasks, I think, goes the same way. So basically, that's it. I hope you found the video helpful, and uh, see you next time.